In algebra, you're going to find that we also have grouping symbols, other name for it as parentheses or brackets. In algebra, there is a special process called expanding, which means we have to remove grouping symbols. Removing grouping symbols is very basic. Let's see how it's done. These examples were asked to expand to remove grouping symbols. The grouping symbols are the brackets, as you can see. We're going to start. And we've learned that in algebra, between the four and the numeral and the brackets, there is a little multiplication. We don't put it, but we know it's there. It is invisible. What does that mean? It means that the four is multiplied by everything inside. The four is multiplied by everything inside. This is the process of expanding. Let's do it. Four multiplied by everything inside, meaning that 4 times a and 4 times positive 6. I always tell students, show the arrows. It's very, very helpful. These little bits of pieces of working out make it much easier later on when you come to revise. And even if you make a mistake, you may get marks for showing your working out. Those arrows are part of your working out. So, 4 times a 4a, 4 times 6, 24. We've just expanded, we've just simplified our algebraic expression, we've expanded it, and we've removed, uh, we've actually removed grouping symbols. Here, again, we're asked to expand. 5, open bracket, x plus 9, close bracket. We know there's a little multiplication here. So we multiply and we show the arrows, meaning we're multiplying 5 by x and 5 by 9. Let's do it. 5 times x, 5x. Five, 5 times 9, 45. Can we go any further? We can't because they are not like terms. This one here, again expanding. 6 times y and 6 times negative 4. 6 times y, 6y. 6 times negative 4, negative 24. 6 times 4, 24, and the negative goes down. Can we go any further? We can't because these are not like terms. So our final answer, 6y, take away 24. Here we have 7 and in brackets 2y plus 5 we know it means 7 times everything inside the brackets 7 times 2y 7 times 5 7 times 2y is 14y 7 times 5 is 35 that's our final answer no like terms we stop there 3x times everything inside the brackets. We have the invisible times over here. 3x times 2 and 3x times t. 3x times 2 is 6x and 3x times t, 3xt. Now one thing I want to mention all the time, now that we are using algebra and we are using letters or pronumerals and numerals, make sure that your handwriting is very, very good. That your t's look like t's, that your pluses look like pluses, that your nines look like nines. You don't want to get mixed up and all of a sudden you're writing the wrong answer and you get and you lose marks and you stuff up your question like that. Very important to make sure your handwriting is clear and it is neat. Now, next one. X multiplied by everything inside x times x and x times y. x times x we know is x squared and x times y is x y. x times x x squared x times y x y. In this example here we have brackets and then the three is on the other side. It still means the same thing. So to make it easier just swap the 3 and put it on that side. 
doesn't matter if it's on that side, just swap it over. And then we do our arrow 3 times x, 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. 3x plus 6, we can't go any further. Here, 2y minus 5 in brackets times 2. Again, the 2 is on the other side. Just swap it over, put it on this side, and then do your multiplication. 2 times 2y is 4y. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Negative goes down. 2 times 5 is 10. In this example here, we have an a, and then in brackets, b take away a. We start multiplying. We show our arrows. a times b, a, b. Then we put our minus, a times a, a squared. See, all the same process. Once you get the hang of it, you'll become fast and you won't make mistakes. Now here, we have 5, and then open bracket, m plus 3, close bracket, plus 9. Very important that you notice that the 5 is multiplied, there's a multiplication here, by what's in the brackets only only multiplied by what's in the brackets. Very important that you notice that. 5 times m, 5m. 5 times 3, 15. And then we bring down the 9. And we notice we can actually simplify even further because we have like terms. The 15 and the 9 are like terms. So our answer would be 5m plus 15 plus 9, 24. So 5m plus 15 plus 9, 15 and 9 become 24. 5m plus 24, very, very important. When you're multiplying and you're expanding, you're only expanding what's in the brackets. Be careful not to join the 9 as well. Here, again, very similar. We're expanding what's in the brackets. 4 times what's in the brackets only, 4t plus 4 times 3 is 12, minus the t, we bring it down to see if we can simplify any further, in this case we can, 4t minus t, which becomes 3t plus 12, our final answer, 3t plus 12, and our last example here, 5b, open bracket, 3 minus b, plus b squared. We're going to do our, our arrows. We'll show our arrows from the bottom. 5b times 3 is 15b. 5 times negative b minus 5b squared. Very important. 5b times b is 5b squared, and the minus comes down, and then we add our b squared. Now we can tell, do we have any like terms? We have a b here, a b squared, and a b here, b squared there, 15b minus 5. And we know there's a 1 there, because b squared really is a 1b squared, but the 1 is invisible. Minus 5 plus 1 is minus 4b squared. Negative numbers and the tricks with negative numbers, we actually use in algebra as well. Negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4b squared. This is our final answer there. Very important. It is the same process throughout. We expand what's in the brackets, and we like to show arrows to show that we are multiplying the outside with the inside, and we look all the time, can we simplify any further? Sometimes, in fact, most of the time, you won't need to simplify any further, but at times, you will need to. You just need to be careful and make sure you look at the questions carefully. That way, you won't make any mistakes whatsoever.